Even the nose band trying to go right over the top on the near side is I Major Blush. They're back towards the final for long and a half now. I Major Blush lays down the challenge to Calvinist. Right there is Peerless Percy to the far side point of honour. Inside the furlong now they go. I Major Blush the near side between horses Calvinist. The striped jacket on the far side of Peerless Percy. They race up towards the line. Amuri from off the pace finishing well. Calvinist trying to bob his head in front. Peerless Percy desperate. They've gone furlong. They come now. Crossford towards the far side. Quest for fun right there with Marah Hekkar doing working hard over on the far side. Arlawi, but still cr uh, Crossford as they go inside the final half. Furlong Kaduin thrusting late towards the near side. Crossford and Kaduin as they race up towards the line on the bob. It's desperate again. Nail starts to set sail here on the far side. Fresh gives chase. Many a star trying to come out of the pack. That's followed by Latin 5, Black Heath, and Intrinsic Bond. But it's Brian the Snail blasting away here inside the final half. Furlong opens up by three lengths for David Nolan and racing up towards the line. Brian the Snail will go on to collect. Fresh holds on for second idiot, but trying to quicken to the far side. Blackberry is last. They're back towards the final furlong and a half. Significantly trying to see them off from the front. Victory Heights in the clear. Yazaman kept going, then Desert Gulf, but significantly still there as they go back towards the final half furlong. Victory Heights trying to close in. Yazaman to the far side is trying to come back for more, but significantly pillar to post here. Significantly goes on to win the condition. There with Trumpet's call out of breath towards the near side. It's Traveller who's gone on towards the far side and the black and red for Harry Russell. Traveller opens up by a couple. Al Osdi giving chase. Trumpet's call kept going with Sands Chorus but Traveller in the clear here as they race back towards the final half furlong. Leads by three to four. Al Osdi plugging on in second. Followed through in third by Trumpet's call but up towards the line. Traveller away and gone. Will go on to score well. Trumpet's call for second. Al Osdi was third there. So two just behind them accessible from 117. Phoenix Star on the right. Kilkanocker trying to pick up over on the far side. Three card trick kept going from Croy and Sarayat but it's Amelia R and Paul Hannigan in front here. Amelia R by a length to Phoenix Star. Kilkanocker towards the far side. Red and white jacket is finishing well followed by Karat. Amelia R leads to Phoenix Star. Kilkanocker still coming over on the far side. They go inside the final 150 yards. Amelia R being grabbed by Kilkanocker. They hit the line. That is going to be very tight. Kilkanocker's got Rangefield Express. Phantasmal is next from Roaring Rory and then near side Cooler Magic and Arnold both picking up Cooler Magic under the near side rail. Arnold in the dark jacket. Back towards the final furlong and a half. They go. Rockley Point on the right. Burroughs Seaside has burst through. Near side Rangefield Express with a blue headgear still right there. But it's Burroughs Seaside in front for Graham Lee as they go inside the final half. Burroughs Seaside punched out. Goes on by four lengths and racing up towards line. Burroughs Seaside goes on to win well. Phantasmal through for second. The final two. Arcavallo towards the far side with Henley under cover. Brother Pink and Green Stripes. Major Pusey kept going. Brandy Station. Here's Lord of the Glen. Archimedes is kept going. Trying to weasel away through his Baliar. Lord of the Glen lays down the challenge. Baliar picking up in the pale blue for Paul Mulrennan. Scorches to the front. Inside the final 100 yards. Baliar will go on to land the spoils to Lord of the Glen. Slow-mo and night.